ஸோ வணக்கம் நண்பர்களே ஸோ இன்றைக்கி வீடியோவில் நம்ம என்ன பார்க்க போகிறோம் பார்த்திங்கன்னா ஒரு இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் டாபிக் தான் ஸோ ஆல்ரெடி நம்ம ப்ரீவியஸ் ஒரு ஃபோர் டு ஃபைவ் வீடியோஸ் வி ஹவ் டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் நியூக்ளியர் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் தான் நம்ம பார்த்துட்ருக்கோம் ஸோ நியூக்ளியர் ஃபிசிக்ஸ் யூனிட் நைன் ஓகே ஸோ ஃப்ரம் த ப்ரீவியஸ் கிளாஸஸ் வி ஹவ் டு டிஸ்கஸ் வாட் ஆர் ஆல் த டாபிக்ஸ் வி ஹவ் டு கவர்ட் ஃப்ரம் த லாஸ்ட் ஒன் வீக் ஃபஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் த liquid drop model then second shell model then third collective model these are all the model we have to discuss from the previous uh, weeks then after that we have to discuss uh, nuclear reactor so we have to give some of the point then uh, who can discover the liquid drop that should be a uh, niels bohr in the year 1937 uh, then what is the similarity between that should be uh, an atomic nucleus atomic nucleus and liquid drop okay so i i have give some of the point we have to discuss in the previous classes okay then what is the shell model Uh, then what are the similarity we have to discuss in the shell model then why we have to shell model comes under uh, due to the failures some of the failures can occur in the liquid drop model so what are all the failures uh, we have to face in the liquid drop model one is magic number and another one is yeah spin and magnetic properties or momentum okay these are all the Uh, failures uh, to face in the liquid drop that's why we have to discuss in the shell model appa shell model la we have to discuss then magic number 9 uh, then spin and magnetic momentum magnetic momentum and what are the similarity we have to discuss that should be energy energy structure and what is that that should be energy uh, structure of the nucleus and the electron atoms okay these are all the similarity then what is my collective model so equal to that should be then combined both liquid drop and shell model which is called as the collective model some of the uh, important point we have to discuss from the previous classes then after that we have to discuss the nuclear reactor so the nuclear reactor there should be a five main component what are all the first one is here fuel or fissionable material then second one is a moderator then third one is a neutron reflector then fourth one is a cooling system then fifth one is a control and safety system so these are all the topics we have to discuss in the previous class classes okay so i have give important points and every question kepanga ante we have to discuss pakkada nanbargal description link kudukka adu paathirenga so inni class la most important so inni ki edukku pora topic la definitely one or two question may be ask okay okay so that is energy released energy released in fission but what is meant by a fission and a fusion we have to upload at one of the video okay if you want if you go through in the youtube channel okay then uh, what is meant by a energy release for example uh, the energy uh, we have to produce how to energy can be produced that should be then original mass of the original mass of the nucleus is always greater than the sum of the mass sum of the masses we have to produce after fission okay so this is the how the energy can be released or produced during the fission now so equal to the energy can be produced original mass of the nucleus is always Uh, greater than is always greater than the sum of the mass it can be produced when after fusion above we have to find out there should be the total 
mass of nuclei before fission how much so before fission ukmadi then total mass evlo pathina then 236.0526 then what is the energy released so the energy the energy released which is equal to then 2.67 mega electron volt so what is the number of atoms number of atoms in 1 kg of uranium can be find out by using 6.23 into 10 power 26 divide 235 so finally we have to uh, find out the how much of the energy can be produced that should be here than 5.128 into 10 power 26 mega electron volt so after that we have to apply some of the mega electron volt and a kilo electron volt after we have to find out the fission reaction then we have to find out finally then e is equal to 2.26 into 10 power 7 kilo volt hour so these are all the important points okay definitely in the uh, energy release in fusion length definitely one or two question may be narrow uh, time okay so apo, uh, this is the important apo, one mega electron volt what is that value then one kilo volt hour what is the value so one mega electron volt can be written as 1.6 into 10 power minus 13 joule so one kilo volt then 3.3 into 10 power 6 joule so these are all the most important maybe 3.3 or 3.6 both the cases we have to consider okay so these are all the some of the point we have to discuss today then energy released in fusion so in next classes we have to discuss about then chain reaction and multiplication factor okay so thank you